Hi and welcome to a tutorial about Blocks Page Builder and we've just released a new update with row settings and background images and gradients and blend modes so in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is how to make an effect where you have an image background to your row and you can choose different types of blending modes to get different types of effects and you can play around with colors and images and gradients to get cool types of effects. So to get us started, I'm going to delete this row I just made. And I'm going to add three add-ons. The first add-on I'm going to add is a title. The second one I'm going to add is a paragraph. And the third one I want to add is a button. So I'm going to go to the buttons category. If the add-on is not installed, I'll click install and I'll choose the button I want. Red button, change the text to read more. And that's looking pretty good. So what we've added is this new side panel for the row settings. You can click on it. And what I want to do is I want to enable my background and choose a background color as you can see it's changing live in the preview area so you don't need to save anything or render anything it's just changing live as you change it that's pretty cool if we go to the basic row settings I can add some padding top and this is gonna change live also looking good and I want the container here to be a bit less wide so let's go for 700 pixels and that has changed live also a little bit of styling for my add-on so I'm gonna go to the title one and click on fonts change the font type to Ebril and the font size to 72 color to white, align it to the left, and give it a little bit of padding bottom. Update, and it's updated. Let's change the paragraph also. Fonts, paragraph, font size, 20 pixels, line height. It's the height between the lines. Let's go for 1.8, and the color also to white. We'll align it to the left and add some padding bottom. Cool, that's looking pretty good. Let's align our button also to the left. Left. Very nice. The next thing I want to go over is the backgrounds. So for the backgrounds, we click on the background settings and, and I'll go over gradient first. So you can click gradient and enable it. And as you can see, a gradient is a transformation between two colors. So you can choose the first color and the second color. That's looking pretty good. And another thing we can do is determine the angle we want this gradient to come. So right now it's coming in a 180 angle going to change that to 45 because I want the angle to be diagonal and now it's coming from one corner to the other so that's what we've added with gradients I'm going to disable this for a second and go to image in image we can choose an image select your image and what we have now is we have a solid background color and above it a an image which we can't see through so some of you may know in Photoshop there's something that's called blend modes which was recently introduced to CSS3 and over here in the settings of the background image we can determine which blend mode we want now if you're not familiar with them you can just try them out 
and you will see you can get really really cool effects without having a designer you can give your clients and uh, to change these and they'll really love it and uh, with each color and the uh, background image you can uh, get different effects and that's something pretty cool I'm gonna save my layout I'm gonna preview and that's looking pretty good another thing I want to do is I want this read more button to pop in and uh, with an animation so I'm gonna click edit I'm gonna go to the animation tab and I'm gonna choose the type of animation I want I want it to bounce in this is a demonstration of how it looks I want it with a delay of one second and I want the animation to take two seconds I'm gonna click update save and preview again and now the button won't appear and it will appear after one second with an animation of two seconds cool that's pretty cool and I'm gonna add another row to my layout and in that row I'm gonna add a content box so we'll go to the content boxes category I'll choose one of the content boxes and I want to add four of these so I'm gonna duplicate it once twice three times and now it's looking pretty good to edit the container of this row I click on the settings again and go to basic and I see that the container is 1170 pixels so I want to make it a bit wider like something like 1 300 pixels oh that's looking better and everything is changing live let's make some more space between the add-ons so right now it's 15 so let's change that to 30 also change live looking good add a background gradients enable and let's make it diagonal and choose the colors neat neat it's looking good looking good I like it so that was a quick tutorial of a, about a couple of updates we've added and I hope you like it you can try out blocks free and if you're already using blocks just make sure you update your version to the latest version to get all these changes see you next time